The Bird Bros. Texas Edition. <clears throat> Action! Here we go! It's the Bird Bros. Time for another adventure! We're, we're going down south! To Texas! Oh frick! Alright guys, here we are. We're heading out of Canada. We're going down to Texas. I just got into Texas. We're on a plane, oh, we're on a plane. Here we are, just landed in McAllen, Texas. This place here is one of the burning capitals of America. Here we are, we made it to McAllen. It is a beautiful day, and it's a lot warmer than it is in Canada, so hopefully we'll find some birds. Oh, there's Burger King. Just outside of the airport. I've seen a blue jay. But I've never seen a green jay before this. Yeah, that's one right there. These guys are only found in the Rio Grande Valley area, southern Texas. The only place you can get it for a North American big year. I'm surprised the Texas baseball team isn't called the Green Jays. Just picked up the rental car. Sweet whip. And now we are heading to Quinta Mazalan. Zoom Zoom! Quinta Mazalan is a world birding center. We're going to meet up with urban ecologist John Brush and he's going to give us a tour and show us the birds and wildlife and the adobe house which is here. But what's an adobe house, Sean? This is what you call an adobe house, John! An adobe house is made from rocks and sticks and mud and shit and uh, basically it's very warm and uh, kind of like nice for tiling. Ooh! Cool! Yeah! John and Sean here of the Bird Bros. Just arriving at a Quinta Mazalon. This place here has lots of different birds. We've got some plain chakalakas, some green jays. Well, we didn't, weren't on par with that one, but. We didn't practice either. Lots of birds, lots of birds. We'll see what we can find. And here's John Brush, the urban ecologist. Well, what's John Brush got here? Um, me and this guys were mowing in a ball field, and uh, and they luckily they saw him before they ran him over. Y'all are welcome to home if you'd like. Yeah. Very gentle. They're very gentle. <laughs> Oh, that's cool. So that's a uh, rat snake. Great plains rat snake. Yeah. yeah. It looks like the rat snakes I've seen. Oh, not in the binoculars, bro. <laughs> Heading on outside. Let's see what wildlife we can find. And there's a bird we've seen before, only once in Ontario. Yeah, this is a great kiskadee. Great kiskadees are native to southern Texas, but we were lucky enough to see one in Ontario last year. First time ever reported. Yeah. The great kiskadee has that little hook on the end of its bill because it's an omnivore. And that hook bill helps it tear apart the flesh on frogs and insects and whatnot. Looking for more birds and admiring John Brush's ponytail? Oh, it looks like John's got something here. Oh, and this is a curved bill thrasher. Another lifeless species for the bird bros. Yeah. Notice how it just thrashes about? Uses its curved bill to help to help move the leaf litter around in search of insects. Yum, yum, yum. And something just flew in on my head. It's metallic looking. What is that? That's a tortoise beetle. They're here at Quinta Mazalan and only breed on one type of tree. This here, why this is a prickly pear cactus. Cacti for plurals. Oh, 
It really is prickly. Oh, and here we are at the bird auditorium. Yeah. Oh, John Rush, hello. Just looking at the bird feeders, waiting for some cool birds. Whoa, like this Altamira Oriole. Sean, check that out. Whoa. Man, the orange is so vibrant on this Altamira Oriole. And this bird here is another bird that we wanted to see in Texas. Loving that black bib there. Oh, and the Kiskadees are back in numbers. Oh my gosh, look at all the Kiskadees. There's, there's gotta be like five, six of them. Total party. Oh, and the Green Jay's back, but this time he wants the oranges and the seed. That's what the Green Jay's saying right now. Plain chaka laka. Plain chaka. Plain chaka laka. Chaka plain. Plain chaka. Boom chaka laka. Plain chaka laka. That's a plain chaka laka. The plain chaka laka is another Texas specialty. The Texas Rio Grande Valley is the chaka laka's most northern range and the only place in the United States where you can find them. If you're looking at a plain chakalaka and it has a red patch on its throat, you're looking at a male chakalaka. Hmm. Just so you know. Hmm, interesting. Oh! And what do those talons belong to? A Cooper's Hawk! And there's even a Cooper's Hawk in the bush. That's a juvenile due to the brown plumage. Birds are the main prey of the Cooper's Hawk. Looks like it's Paying attention to a pair of green jays. They better be careful. It looks hungry. And there's a red shouldered hawk! Whoa! Those white markings along the edge of the wing is a good way to indicate that that's a red shouldered hawk. Oh, what you see there, Sean? Uh, looks like I got a. Parake? A parake? 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 Oh, it's so camouflaged. This is the common parake. It's basically like a weird shaped bird that's like nocturnal and like hangs out in the, the bush there. It's in the goat sucker family. Also known as the nightjar family. They're pretty hard to find in the underbrush, but luckily we had a John Brush to help us find it. John Brush spotted this one in the brush, and that's how we saw him. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that was, that was the first part of Texas. Yeah, 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 it was okay. Stay tuned for more. Or don't. No, do it. And subscribe, like, and tell your friends and all that jazz. Please. And of course, a special thanks to John Brush and Quinta Mazalan for having us there. And I highly suggest that you check it out if you're ever down in the Rio Grande Valley area. Stay tuned for more Bird Bros. Where you might see this. Or this. Or this. Stay fly.